Hey guys, it's Nick Costco, Friday Night Live, week five coming up in just two short days, 6 to 10 p.m. right here on 97.3 ESPN. We had an exciting week last week in the high school football scene. Saturday was a big day for games. St. Joe's went down to Haddonfield in an upset victory, but we now have to look at three games this week that are going to pique my interest, and one comes almost close to home. So first got to start with Timber Creek and Millville. Timber Creek coming in at 2-2. Two and two. Millville now 2-3 and three after the 0-3 start, so when you look at Millville, you might say, oh, they're 2-3, how are they that good of a team? Well, based on their schedule, they played three top state powers. Now they've won two in a row. Millville's starting to get hot, looking to stay atop the South Jersey Group 4 standings for the playoffs. Timber Creek, of course, one of the South Jersey powers as well. So I'm looking forward to that game, and i got to look at the stats from against Highland for Timber Creek. Their quarterback, Fred Jefferson, is fantastic. Now, the stats may not indicate how well, how well he can do, but last week, he did pretty well in a tight spot. He was 10 of 20 passing, 182 yards, had a touchdown. Did throw two picks, but he also can run for over 100 yards. This guy has a lot of potential, so Millville's going to have to do a good job of containing him this week. Game number two, got to look at St. Augustine Prep at Rancocas Valley. Rancocas Valley, one of the top teams in South Jersey Group 5, one of the top teams in our online 25. St. Augustine Prep, of course, had an impressive victory last week over Ocean City on the road, 38-6. So it's going to be interesting to see what they do this week on the road once again, but against an even better team here in South Jersey RV. I'm looking for them to roll. They're 3-1. and one. I think they'll give the prep their biggest challenge since, since the prep played St. Joe's earlier this season. Now we go to our final game, and it's Mainland at Ocrest, a classic Cal matchup. Of course, now everybody in the West Jersey Football League both three and two mainland, three and one Oak Crest. This is for division supremacy. So Ocean City, they lost to the prep last week, but they're still undefeated in the Independence Division. But when I'm looking at mainland and Oak Crest, these two teams are battling out this week for that last spot, the one-two spot, going into the final weeks of the season. So I think it's going to come down between Ocean City and one of these two teams. So basically, mainland Oak Crest, the winner is still alive for the division. Loser, got to have a lot of ground to make up. So I'm looking at Tyquan Campbell for mainland this week, the running back. And for Oak Crest, I'm looking at Marcus Miller, running back and linebacker. This is going to be a nice battle between these two guys as well. I would love to see Miller go after and try to tackle Campbell. It's going to be a very interesting matchup to watch at Oak Crest. Make sure to watch out for that game on Friday as well. Those are my three games this week. And then we're going to have a packed show. We're going to welcome in Mike Pavlichko of WCTC up in Central Jersey. He's going to talk about the power points and the playoff structure right around 6.30 on the show this Friday. We might even have Egg Harbor Township head coach Kevin Stetzer join us this, and later in the show as well. Catch it 6 to 10 p.m. Friday Night Live this Friday on 97.3 ESPN.